Hello, I'm Sivaxo and I'm part of the development team of Pet Monsters, the new game from Rovio. In this video I'm going to show you the weekly raids game mode. I'm going to play tiers 1, 4 and 6 and to make it more interesting I'm going to use a lot of the newer pets we introduced lately and a lot of 6 stars pet as well. While you watch me play I'm going to explain how the raid work and at the end of the video I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to get better score and rank higher in the leaderboard. Let's begin with how to play the raid. Each raid has 6 difficulty tiers assigned to 6 days. Each tier is composed of several battles and ends with a boss battle. Different tiers can have different amount of battles. For example, tier 1 has 3 battles, including the boss one. While tier 6 has 8 battles, again including the boss one. However, raid battles are very different from regular campaign levels, since you can only use the same pet once a day. This means that when you enter a battle with a pet of 4 pets, these 4 pets will not be available for use in the raids for the rest of the day, regardless if you win or lose the battle. This means you need to plan in advance what pets you take to each battle. For this reason, we show you in advance what type of enemies there are in each battle and how many of them. This allows you to plan ahead and use your pets strategically. This also means you need enough strong pets. For example, tier 1 has 3 battles, which means you need at least 12 pets. Tier 6 has 8 battles, so you'll need at least 32, and pretty strong ones. Now, you don't have to complete a tier in a single day, but you should. If you didn't complete a tier in the same day, the next day you will still be at the same difficulty tier. This means you will not be able to reach tier 6 for that trade. The higher tier you play, the higher your best score is if you win, so you do want to reach the highest tier possible in order to get to the highest score. This is basically how the raid works. Now I'm going to let you watch me fight for a while. At the end of the video I'll give you some tips on how to get higher scores. If you like the game, please press like and drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the raid and what you think about the game and if you like me to do more of these videos.
Okay, tips and tricks time. First, it's very important to choose the right team to go into each battle with. Choosing by elemental and strength is important. If you have a battle with water enemies, make sure you have some nature pets on your team, for example. The raid score is highly affected by how many turns it takes you to win the battle. The less turns you need, the higher the score will be. Next is health. The less health you will lose, the higher the score will be. Healing won't affect this. This isn't about how much health you have at the end of the battle. It's only about how many hit points you lost during it. Each tier also have a base score amount that you get if you win regardless of how long it took you. The higher the tier, the higher the base score is, so you do want to get to the highest tiers you can. So remember, win fast, avoid damage and reach the highest tier possible. This will guarantee you a high score and a high rank in the weekly leaderboard, which also guarantees a really nice prize. Remember to like this video and drop me a comment if you like the game and you like this video and want me to make more of these. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks and see you next. Damn it! What the? <laughs> <laughs> You're playing over there and you're killing me over here. How did you get to uh, to the oh, other yeah, to the Bloody hell! <laughs>